Hey everybody, how's it going? Just had a good chat with Rick on the on his live stream, the coffee ch uh, show in the morning on the Corn Life Network. If you haven't checked it out, guys, you really got to check it out. He's such a cool guy to hang with. Yeah, I enjoy people like that. I really do. And there's lots of great people on here. Uh, we've connected lots with lots of you guys. Had lots of good conversations. Oh, Wellens. Hi. Good to have you. How are you? How are things this morning? Hope all is well. I hope your day is going better than we spoke yesterday. Well, yesterday, yeah, you, I shouldn't say that you were just, you were talking about your illness in general. I hope uh, things are okay today. Just did Rick's and decided to pop on for a few minutes. See how everybody's doing. If you're new, welcome. Oh, hey, Rita. How are you? Like I say, when it's just me and not Xenia, the lighting's not so good and the camera's not so straight, but... We'll make it work. How are you guys today? Yeah, I understand, Owens. That's uh, kind of sometimes the only way to be able to make it work, I suppose. Eh? The same with my wife. You know, the, today she came and said hi on Rick's for a little bit, but. You know, she's got to really pace herself just to try and get through the day and with any amount of, uh, well, there's always pain, but with any, trying to avoid the huge, huge spikes if possible. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Who is your wife? Uh, my wife is Xenia. Uh, you'll see her on our uh, streams we do at night. Uh, she doesn't, the day one's the wing one. I tend to do one myself. Uh, then we have our show tonight at 8 p.m. Trying to remember who the guest is. I got to, I don't want to say, because I, and sometimes too, I don't announce it to the afternoon when I put on a promo video, just in case we've had that before where there's changes. And sometimes there's been a change even after we put out the promo video. But if you're not connected to with us on Twitter, if you can, that would be great. It's all one word, Pusha Studios. That's where we do a lot. Xenia does most of the scheduling and stuff like that. We're a team. Oh, Silver, sorry I missed the previous live stream. Thank you. That's okay. Hey, guys, I'm the first one to know that life comes first. Not everything, uh, I mean, that's YouTube. You know, that's the way it goes. It's, uh, we all got things to do and love family comes first. And it's nice to have you here. Like I said, I just got off of uh, the Corn Life Network from Rick's stream and just decided to come on for a few minutes. Nothing too, uh, nothing too exciting. Just wanted to hang out for a few minutes. <laughs> I find this actually as becoming, I, because I, I was just trying the daytime ones just with no, schedule and no plans just to kind of see where it goes but it's actually kind of nice to have some, I'd like to talk to you guys for a little bit because Xenia and I work from home we have a video and photography business and uh not that we love each other but it's good to have somebody else to kind of talk to for a little bit Steve welcome I'm doing great how about you so good to have you here Four at the moment uh in uk time i think it's had five hours because yeah yes exactly it's five hours because right now is uh uh right now is 11 o'clock here eastern time bottle caps good morning it's always good to have you it was nice seeing you on rick's channel our staple of the show well, that's great, Steve. I'm glad everything's going well. I got to go over and check out some more of your guitar playing. I love your playing, by the way. It's phenomenal. Tea throng, it is coffee time. You nailed it. You nailed it, girl. Good to have you. I got mine going right here. Hmm. Oh, it's getting better. Actually, now it's getting too hot. I keep the thermos because during the show, I'm always forgetting about it. And then it goes bad, and I'm 
I don't like wasting, so it's just easier this way. Cheers. You can see the steam coming off of it. So, <laughs> uh, backwards bow ties. Welcome, brother. It was good hanging out with you last night. Oh, that's great. Great. How are you feeling today? In case you have to go away soon, and I understand completely, but thanks so much for coming by. I know you guys last night, man. Like I said, I, I was worried after I wrote it that I said you sound like crap, but you, I didn't mean that in a bad way. I just really felt bad for you. There's nothing worse than like a head cold. I'd rather have my legs amputated, I think. After your sad bottle caps. <laughs> after slumming it with Stephanie last night, I need normal stream to watch the morning. <laughs> Thank you. And if she sees that, she's going to kill you. Co coffee does make it smoother. Like I said, a truck driver for years when I was younger, long haul all over Canada, the States, never touched a drink of my uh, coffee in my life till I was in my, well, I'm 44 and I started now, what, I say six months, so probably now it's close to a year, I guess. And the reason why, as I told you before, is because Xenia grew up in Europe where 80 kilometers was considered like a half day drive with a picnic. And when we go home to my parents, for instance, it's 850 kilometers, so that's, what, 500 miles in an eight-hour drive. And I would never stop except once for the bathroom, hence the truck driver. So she figured she got me hooked on coffee. I would stop more, which she was right. But I do have a severely addictive personality, so there you go. Resorian, welcome. Good to have you here. It was good to see you in uh, the, uh, the Corn Life Network's chat as well. Yeah, heavy pressure and heavy off balance and split. Oh man, I really do hope you feel better, Ollie. Is because I know it's like with the family getting sick. It's a lot of fun. You're suffering and you're still going to be there for them. So I really hope you guys feel better real soon. Like I told you, my father is the old time guy, and it was always John de Kuiper gin, hot water, and sugar. Sometimes even when he wasn't sick. <laughs> And it tastes like crap. Oh. <laughs> uh, Silver, so we may in front of you in the UK. Time difference wise, but I was. Anytime you can, my friend. You know, I understand time difference. I don't guilt anybody. I understand completely. And there's ones that I would love to catch and I can't because of the time difference. Life comes first. This is where we pop in to take a few minutes away from life. But if there's something in life got to be done. Like Rick said the last couple of weeks, that's why he backed off of his live streams because he was starting to ignore things in real life. And that's a very, this can be as addictive as any video game or as any poker machine or any type of addiction is addiction. You mean addicted to anything? Look at me with coffee. <laughs> There's only, yeah, I should be sleeping. It's too early. I should be. <laughs> you're sleepwalking, you're sleep typing right now. <laughs> The world just realize you're in Canada. I have a few relatives. Oh, good. Well, there's a lot. I mean, like a lot of war brides came over here. I mean, the land was settled basically, excluding Quebec, mostly by well, even Quebec. I mean, there's lots of uh UK uh, descendants here too. That's right, backwards. And it's hard, it's hard to you know, you can it's easy to lose that perspective sometimes. Not bad people or bad parents, it's just uh, sometimes this becomes such an inclusion. That it's safer to be here than deal with the shit going on in the real world. Excuse my language. And, uh, yeah. And so, it's balance. Always about balance. Goma, welcome. Good to have you here. It's been a couple of days. Hope all is well. Nice to have you here. Yeah, see, it's 4 p.m. there. And where my wife's from in Latvia, it would be 6 p.m. Because it's an extra two hours in Latvia. Oh, I wrote some hours. I've racked up some hours. Oh, completely a needed break. All as well as still come on live to catch up. Yes, exactly, exactly. Back with you know, like I put up a video last night of some pictures that I took when I was in Slovenia, and I love this photo series because at least once a week. I like the idea of a series because we usually don't do Sundays. That's a great night to upload it. It's a photography we took from different countries around the world. If you guys haven't had a chance to take it out, I'd love for you to see it. And please leave a comment what you think. <clears throat> and, yeah, in a way, it's kind of a bit repetitive. But at the same time, too, like I have a theme for each week. 
And even if I can't get to the bigger editing and still feel like I'm creating something. Dollar sixty one in Vancouver. Wow. That's crazy. Yep, that's right. It's got to. Uh, well, I uh, even more than the territories or Alaska. So good to chat with you guys this morning for a few minutes. Digoma, everybody's checking on you. Everybody's wondering if all is good because we hadn't seen you in a bit. Everybody's got each other's backs. That's good. Raven Rain Books. One of the greatest internet sweethearts. So good to have you. I'll say YouTube sweethearts. I want to give you even make it more. I'm doing well, and how are you doing this morning? She's such a sweetheart. I was watching your video this morning, uh, your bookcase one. It was great, by the way. I built a bed for my daughter a couple of years ago. And, uh, I mean, I work growing up in rural areas. You learn how to frame a house and stuff like that, a barn, whatever. But I'd never done more fine building, but uh, crafts, uh, more than not a cabinet maker, but you know what I mean, finishing carpenter, finishing work. But it was nice. It turned out pretty good. I built it with uh, four drawers underneath, and then the bed. And it's built like one of those day beds you see in Ikea, and I bought the paneling put all around it. Uh, the shelves I did go and buy at Ikea because they were selling for like 20 bucks. It was for another bed series, but they fit well, and it's like why make my life 10 times harder, especially I don't have a full shop to work in. But I uh, built the rest for built all the frame, and then I built it half and half, so the back opens up, and we use that for all of the storage for all of our winter stuff and everything, and then the drawers are in front. <laughs> well, that's good, Backwoods. I'll help you out. Well, I think, Raven, you did absolutely phenomenal. Great job. It really looked nice. And it's so rewarding to have that done. Good for you. You did. You guys did amazing. Teeth wrong. I will be listening on my headphones, you know. Domestic <laughs> duties. <laughs> Never ending. <laughs> the doodling is up. Doug's doodling was absolutely phenomenal. I'm so blown away. The way he mixed us between the monkey and the pillow. That was so ingenious. We got the high-res version. We're printing it out. I mean, we got to keep it. That was so. I. Uh, I think it was. I think it, it touched both of us, but especially Xenia. Like, I don't think I've seen her that proud of something in a long time. Like, it meant, she's really, truly touched by it. If you guys, uh, I don't know. He's not here right now. Uh, what I'm trying to, I want to say his name properly, and I know his channel. It's just, you know, it's hard to remember the exact wording. Oh, hey, Liz and Ethan. Sorry I missed you. Good morning, Neil. Good to see you. Always great to have you. And NW Long Dog. Oh, God. Always get nice to get family around. Love all you guys. Oh, backwards. Hey, you know, I like what you do. And I mean, I. I like to do different things, you know. I usually got Xenia squeezing my knee here. I think mine would be a bit more like yours sometimes. That's why I like your channel so much, your live streams. It's fun. I, it's like watching TV. I don't want to watch the same program all day. You know, I want to shake it up and stuff like that. And uh, you're an awesome guy, you know. A really, You're really entertaining, really fun. And, uh, you know, you're you're a good guy. So I love watching your stuff. And if I do miss one, it's just because of the grind sometimes and way things work out. But yeah, whenever I get a chance, I definitely tune in. Oh, okay, Lawn Dog. You have a great day. It was nice of you to drop in. You take care of yourself. You guys are all great channels. It's nice to say, oh, there was 200, you know, in the chat room at once. But to me, it's a lot more rewarding to see so many of you guys keep coming back 
and uh, truly supporting it. Not just to say we're here, oh, I like, don't forget to sub me and leave. I don't care if you ask everybody to watch you. You all deserve to be watched, but you actually participate in it. Say a nice word, you know, and if you just drop in like, and like Long Dog was a great, you see, he dropped in for a minute. I know he doesn't have a lot of time. It does, I'm just honored that he come in for a few minutes. I would. You guys are an amazing foundation, and I, I that means a lot to me more than a bunch of people in here who don't care what we're saying and just using it for a minute and running. Gonna show some love. A few other stops for me and the way. Please eat. Glad you enjoy my channel. I don't have TV, and TV bores me too. One hundred percent. And thank you so much for coming in backwards. And I love you spreading around. And I try to do the same too. You know, hey. This is not a capital thing here. We're all just kind of together and just hanging out and supporting each other, and that's amazing. Yes, exactly, backwards. That's 100%. You know, that's a foundation you can put money on. It's worth more than the little bit you get from Adson is that community that when you turn on, you know, when first we started this, you know, you always get those butterflies or something. And I still get them sometimes. Like, is this today that nobody cares anymore what we say or what we think or don't like what we do? But in the end, I have a lot of you guys, and you always make it feel worth it. So, and the same with you, backwards and both times, and a lot of other one of you. Very good, Tony. That's great. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to. I'll go back after in the chat because I've tried that before doing it now and then I got to close a window. So I'm going to go back after and then open everybody's windows and check out some of your work. Uh, and that's cool. Uh, shout outs are awesome. We we're going to do more shout outs. It's just that we're doing more of the live stream right now and we're always focusing on uh, like channels in the group. Plus, we're always featuring new channels. And guys, we have some more channel, uh, some more uh, starting tonight. More guests were booked right through, I believe, Saturday again and into next week. And you're going to notice more. We're going to start bringing more channels that are like out of the fold. And that's for you guys to get to meet new people. You know, hopefully they're going to bring in new people and you guys will be able to mingle with them. But always remember, even if we do that, you guys are always the core. You're the one who makes that the show what it is. So uh, I just want to make it more interesting for you guys. So you guys keep wanting to come. Truly priceless. That's right. It's it's not about the views of followers to me, but I appreciate every one of you and will hold one of for the ride as you grow. And we all grow together. Exactly. And tomorrow, if I find out backwards or Zorian or well, good morning, by the way, Millie. Great to have you here. Um, Hills and Heathens, you guys tomorrow shoot to the top. One of your videos takes off and you guys are stardom. You, I'll be the first one to cheer you on. I uh this is a big gamble we're all into, so I'd rather spend the time of this. I have a job already. We have a business. I'd rather use this for now. Uh, if it does grow into something great, fantastic. If it doesn't, I did not waste a moment because I got to know all you guys, hang out with you guys. You make our channel more noticed, which gives our brand recognition. So I get great people, and I get a win for our business that feeds our kids. I mean, who else could ask for anything more? How could you ask for anything more? Yeah, see, Raven's same thing, doesn't watch TV. They did a study, and it's what? Something like over 50% of people 45 and under now don't own a television? Or 60%? It, television's on square. My daughter's seven. And when we go to my parents, they have internet, but it's that satellite internet that's horrible. And we don't want, they only have like 25 gig cap. My daughter can't process the idea of a TV where you can't watch what you want when you want. Like, you know, she can't understand that uh, the Simpsons don't come on just because you want them to come on. It just shows you how much things have changed. Oh, Rosario, you're, you're, you're so uh, – thank you so much. No, I just – I would hope you would, and I hope you would do really great, and, you know. Um, I would cheer you on. I, I thought, uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah, exactly. T throng, no, no, I, we understand completely. And yes, the doodling was, and guys, you got to see it. Doug's, uh, Doug's doodles. I know I'm probably not leaving out one word. He did a caricature of us yesterday. And if you guys watch us any amount, which most of you do, but if you missed that episode that night. 
we had the um Xenia was driving me crazy, so of course, in Xenia fashion, she grabbed the button up uh, pillow, put it in her place, put a hat on with uh, scarf, glasses. She loves productions, she is a true woman after all. <laughs> I love her, just kidding. I uh, so I went and got my daughter's uh, five foot monkey that we bought her for Christmas and put it by my place. So, we did a character yesterday of mixing our features with me with the monkey and her with the pillow and it's it's so cool i i'm we're so honored that he chose to do that for us and he will be a guest soon so you take care of yourself backwards bless you man. hope you all feel better tomorrow you feel like a rock star cheers I am so bad with the chat. My wife is probably like, if she comes back after this, she's like, why didn't you say this? And why didn't you answer them on that? Please, if it's something important, just paste it again. I'll never freak at you. I just miss it. Especially tag my name into it if you really want me to see it. Because, uh, oh, I forgot to make backwards bow ties a monitor. Yeah. I thought I made teeth wrong. Monitor. Okay, there we go. And we're going to make silver collector a moderator. Because like we said, moderators here don't really mean much. Not that you guys mean a lot. Sorry, the title. Uh, we're not. What we mean is there's no pissing contest here and stuff like that. Sorry. <laughs> Doodles by Doug. Doodles by Doug. Doodles by Doug. Doodles by Doug. I knew I was going to get your name partly right. I had Doug and Doodles. No offense. I did that with everyone here. Like Halos and Heathens. There's one I'm even terrified to say unless it's right in front of me because I know I'm always going to put heavens first because you're not supposed to. Same with Raven and the other Raven. I'm mixing them up half the time. So, cheers, man. You take care. Enjoy the family. Doodles by Doug. I got to tell you just how impressed we were. <laughs> that was so amazing. I... uh yeah, phenomenal. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Xenia is so honored by it. Like, and I mean honored. You did. You you nailed it. Hmm. Yeah. Same. Well, imagine Xenia with her name. I like I say every time we go to the doctor's office and they walk with a clipboard going, uh, <laughs> she's like, yeah, that's me. Oh, it's all good. Like I say, you know, we don't want to, I don't want to run a place like that. You guys are all coming in and not, you guys know how to police yourselves. You know how to behave. Uh, you don't need me being a parent to you. I'm proud of that. That was the whole point of doing that was to show that I'm happy with the channel that I have. And, and once again, if you haven't been to Doodles by Doug, you have him here now. Click on the link and you'll see his character he did live yesterday. It was so cool. It's uh, It means a lot to us. Yes, Bottle Cat. And if Bottle Cat's still here because he kept telling me I look like a gremlin. <laughs> it was so funny. I loved it. You, you really did a good job. It's very, uh, very heartwarming. Thank you. It is an awesome name, isn't it? Doodles by Doug. It's got like PBS show written all over it. More coffee. Yeah, no, it is really cool. That's uh I I can't get over it. It's definitely getting printed. I'm gonna keep it as a keepsake. Hmm. That was good. So what else is new with you guys today? You hear me yapping all the time. What's going on with you guys? Like I said, this will be a short one today. I'm finally getting uh, the live streams. We got them booked in advance. And guys, once again, anybody wants to be on or you know somebody who should be on, please get in touch with them. Tell them to get in touch with us on Twitter. All of our social networks are all Pusha Studios, either one word or two, but you know, they're pretty, we're pretty easy to find. Uh, always looking for good channels. 
you know, people have something to say. Because uh, you, anytime you recommend somebody, and I know sometimes you want, like, somebody will do it out of the goodness of their heart. Well, you know, I want to get him on because I, uh, he's only 80 away from 1,000 or something. We're not a good platform for that. There's other channels do that a lot better. Uh, we're good at uh, getting them to know people, you know, but we we talk a lot about backstories and stuff like that. You know, we want to get to know everybody more than what we get to see them on the camera. Blackstar, EDM, welcome. And Jimmy D on cars. Good to have you both back here. You guys get moderator and you get moderator. All the regulars get a moderator. Because we're just saying, we said our channel is full of adults, and you guys monitor yourselves quite well. You're quite respectful in here, so let's all be on an even playing field. Because, like I say, I grew up in the days of all MIRC and all that stuff. I've seen that go or moderators and power trips and fighting and that. Uh, People getting on here trying to be cock of the walk. I mean, that's not us. We're all adults and we can sit in here the same way as if we're in real life sitting in a restaurant having a lunch together or something. Yeah, I'm trying to go power crazy, exactly. No, I believe it does set this tone. Like I was always say, you guys are amazing. You guys are what makes like the live streams at night and, and even here so amazing. Is the way you guys are respectful to each other, the way you guys ask great questions, the way you support each other. Um, we're pretty lucky to have that, especially with an early on live stream channel. Oh, you got more coffee bottle caps. Good stuff. I nice see you guys all connecting like that. Rudy, welcome. Been a couple of days. How you doing? Good to see you. Hmm. Do you know that Tim Hortons fell in Canada because they bought, got bought out by an American conglomerate two years ago, and in two years it fell from the number two franchise in Canada with people to number fifty. X-ray, welcome. Another guy that's new, but's been coming into a lot of streams. Always great to have. So amazing to have you. He gets a mod. He was telling me the other day. He said like he didn't expect at the time when he picked out his name with the hashtag in front. Because, yeah, it's hard to tag them in these uh, chats. Oh, X-Ray Tech, you're welcomed anytime you want. You're always a pleasure to have on. You're welcomed anytime you want to come by. And like I say, I, I'm trying to get more and more. Oh, Dexter Tang, haven't seen you last night, and uh, who's was it, uh, the fishing one, uh, oh my god, I can't remember his name now, uh, Midwest guy, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong there too. Uh, what'd you miss? Oh, we're just all hanging out. Good to see you. You, you come in a good bit, you get moderator. Oh, haircut. Oh, my God. I had a cut like uh, two weeks ago, I think. I just didn't put gel into it this morning, probably. Well, yesterday, too. That's why I think somebody else had commented on my hair. Yeah, I haven't changed anything about it. Just got lazy. <laughs> I thought you were moderator already. We'll fix that right away. There you go. Happy trails hiking. Enjoy. So good to see all you guys. No, it wasn't Sarah. It was a guy. I was just I, literally like the last cup. I caught the last maybe five minutes. He said, even said hi. And then you were in. <coughs> and I said, I seen you. And I'm like, oh, that's because I don't know many in that channel. I had added him a bit, but then I hadn't seen him in a while. And then I just seen it the last second. <laughs> I got a vent that's pulling it by the window right here. That's why kids aren't home yet. So this one is the only part of the room. <laughs> 
Uh, yes, 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 Kentucky Cat Man. You're right. You nailed it. Thank you. I have no memory. I'm awful for that stuff. Crazy Russian Official. Now, there's a name I haven't seen in a couple of days. How you doing, bud? Good to see you. One of our favorite channels. My, my son, too, as well. Because sometimes we watch you guys, like, uh, a time to watch you guys is when and we're eating here and um, kids are in and we'll uh, watch and uh, have supper at the same time. Uh, like I say, this show in the morning is a little more relaxed. At night, where that's where we're more professional. That's where it's in is there to squeeze my knee if I'm getting <laughs> too on something or and her, too. I get her, too, because Xenia, when she gets nervous, she uh, talks, and she just falls into sentence, 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 sentence. So then, so we kind of help each other. We're each other's, uh, we got each other's back. You go, you have a good day there, uh, uh, Rosarian. And yeah, get some sleep, man. <laughs> Hope you feel better. Are you dig relaxed? Yeah, me, too. <laughs> me, too. That's why I know there's no topics on this. I'm not picking anything. I'm just kind of going with the flow. You guys want to stop in, say hi. It's all it's all good. Talk to each other. I was more testing the waters to see what the morning looks like here and where our numbers would go. Not that we'd change the channel because it's just too hard, but uh, we have a we have a decent time slot, but it's hard for European people. I get that completely because you're at least adding five hours to 8 p.m. Eastern. So, you know, but it's it's it was more of a chance for me to see the people that are on in the mornings plus ones that can't make it to our night ones just to say hi and keep in touch with them, you know. What time is it here, Dexter? It's uh, right now it's 11.30 p.m. At 11.30 a.m., excuse me. <laughs> We're on Easter Standard Time in Montreal, New York, Toronto. We're going to be on uh, with uh, on Ales and Heathens uh, in a couple of days from now. That's going to be a lot of fun. Like, they were on Just Stole Our Heart, and there's such a great channel to be partnered with. And they have an awesome, awesome stream now, but before that, an awesome podcast. So, uh, definitely, uh, definitely, if you guys, if there's anybody here who could possibly not have checked them out by now, do. Please do. It's an awesome, awesome channel. They're funny. And they're like us, they're husband wife dynamic type of thing, you know, well, uh, you know. They play off each other and stuff like that. They're a lot of fun. Lots of laughs. And some great topic, too. It's a good mix. Well, that's right, Dexter. You're in Malaysia. That's right. I forgot all about that. That's right. Yeah, you're a long ways away. Oh, my God. A Rosorian said he was tired. I think he's got me yawning now. It's too early in the day to be yawning. I always forget that. Uh, yep, we will be dropping the promo for Wednesday. Oh, great! It's no, it's going to be fun. We're looking forward to it. You guys are awesome, most awesome. And I actually remember Tony this morning, even though I said silver, I, I remember Tony right after, which was surprising because uh, now I'll probably really forget it. But I. <laughs> All right, Doodles, thank you so much for coming. Well, I guess I guess we were on first name basis. You did our caricature, so I can call you Doug. Have a great day, Doug. Maybe see you tonight if it's possible. But if not, we'll see you soon. You guys take care. <coughs> Hey,
And guys, like you guys are in very communities. If you ever know, like I, I, I just want to say it again. You know, anybody who wants to be on, you think would be interviewed because we might be in the same circles. Uh, love having them, you know, or just tell them to come and check out the show. Uh, we do at night, especially. And uh, maybe we can have them on and stuff like that. I love seeing that, like uh, groups from the RC race community and the beauty channel and the DIY sector and all these groups have so many gray areas. Because especially channels, you're always going to have your core, your diehards. You know, they know every question they ask you about every screw that's on it, every little bit. But there's people that like RC racing that don't build those. And there's people who uh, like cabinetry but aren't sure yet how to do it that might like your channel. There's so many gray areas to tap into. And the more we bring gray areas together, that's when I believe huge growth starts and good growth because they're more in it for the love of it. So uh, it is very interesting to have our podcast world and YouTube world collide. Definitely, it is. But that's great. That's so amazing. You know, all the social media is coming together. We're getting people now, like we're going to soon have guests from Twitter and stuff like that. And somebody you've rec uh, recommended, had recommended to us, which is a phenomenal, that has a huge podcast. Uh, that's part of growing. And I really believe that's the grow, way to grow healthy. A mod meeting? No, you're right on time. We came here to say, surprise, you're a mod too, Excalibur. <laughs> Big sale of mods is here. Kirby's fishing and grill. Kirby gets a mod. <laughs> Another regular. There you go. See? Everybody's equal in here. <laughs> The more man 82. Oh, welcome. It's been a little bit. I haven't seen you a few days, unless Xenia noticed you and I didn't, because I'm really horrible at checking on all this stuff. Another great channel. Oh, Wicked Fabs. I'm sorry. I just noticed you now. Uh, I'm, like I say, horrible with the chat. Oh, you're. How's everything going? Wicked Fabs. Wicked Fabs. Oh, right. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you guys had a cool channel. I love you guys' segments. The last one, too, uh, you know, from your Sham stuff like that. You guys really are something great there. You definitely got to add monitor. And we're going to give monitor to More Man 82. Sorry, the More Man 82. Yeah. There. Equal playing field. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, my God. Oh, my. That, that can't be fun. That cannot be fun at all. Jeez. Uh, please give her her best, and I hope she recovers well. <laughs> yes, we yes we are, Corn Life. Sorry, I just seen you there now. Uh -huh. I, uh, best way to make everybody on even playing field. <laughs> this is my way of saying to everyone that we're all a good channel and everybody knows how to behave themselves. And, uh, you know, we can just have an enjoyable time. Then it's more like sitting down at a restaurant to eat. Because <laughs> you're all mods of yourselves. So. <laughs> See? There's the inner message. Good morning, Patsy. How are you this morning? We had a caricature drawn of us yesterday by uh, Doodles by Doug, which was absolutely phenomenal. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, go see it. We were just talking a minute ago. And Patsy Houlihan did a shout-out to us. Well, a shout-out. We it's a good way of putting it, I guess. We were in their uh, video between making a pie and talking about there's lots to life and balance. Which So we've had a lot of mentions and a lot of great ones, a lot of creative ones. I mean, how amazing is that? Oh, she's in a sling for six weeks. Yes, you take good care of her, and uh, we understand completely. And um, I hope that the recovery is smooth and uh, things are better after that. Like I say, please give her our best. Oh, you did, Excalibur. Well, that definitely deserves a watch. 
I will definitely check that out. I see it here. I'm going to pause it. But it's open and raring to go. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. We really do appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> bottle caps. I like the morning show. Andrew doesn't make me stand in the corner, lol. <laughs> Bottle Caps and Paid Tours the other night were uh, discussing Susie, uh, the Susie channel, and we were talking about her uh, touching of certain cakes, and I went to American Pie, and Xenia decided it was time to put them on time out for a little bit. <laughs> Scrumptious Maltrain, welcome. How are you doing today? Good to have you back. I don't know if you caught the morning one before or the uh... – here, I'm giving you a moderator. Hang on one second. Add moderator. There you go. Good to have you. Like we said, we do it because everybody's respectful here and uh, is good at monitoring themselves. So, And as a general warning to everybody, as we always said, though, please, no power trips on anybody. <laughs> Or it's because we're all, but I know you guys already are amazing. We've only ever had one, uh, our first mod, and uh, yeah, he went a little gun crazy for a second with the, with the the timeouts and stuff. But he meant well, and it's all good. Kevin Climber is here, the man who climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs, and he's climbed all the way to monitor in this channel. Yay! <laughs> Congrats. That's right, because everybody's equal. Because you, and really, it sounds corny, but it's true. The message is you guys already mod yourselves. So, and if there's ever a big problem, don't worry. Uh, I don't like doing it, but if I mean gotta do it, I'll take care of it. <laughs> well, this oh, thanks, Rick. It's that's it is a message behind it. It, it. it was that's what we were talking that day when I was so frustrated on here, and I'm just like, you know what? Because I've gone into some channels and I've seen that years ago where it's all, it gets ridiculous. I call them ladies in waiting, some of them, and they get all hung up and, oh, that's the last time warning you and this and that. Tell the person something, okay, if they're being really abusive, yes, something's got to be done. But too much is like a power trip. It's like you're not getting paid to be a mod, so it's not like you were deputized. I guess it's kind of like deputized for the channel if you want to call it that. That's the whole message and everything I've been saying lately. We're, we're too small to be going so damn seriously about everything. Enjoy what we're doing. There's, there's cutting throats and, and, oh, you're on the my time slot, and blah, 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 and all this stuff. Like, enough already. Just have fun, everybody. This, this, we're not getting, none of us are going to leave here today wealthy from this. I guarantee you. There, you want a guarantee? There's what I can give you. We're not gonna we're not gonna make a bunch of money off it. So let's have fun. And if it gets big, well, great. We'll deal with that when it comes to it. I have a small business. We are not wealthy, but we're okay. And that is my focus. And as much as I love YouTube, tomorrow if I had to pick between that and my business, I got to take my business because this will not feed my children. It will not keep us where we live. It's not that I don't have a passion about it. It's it's just being an adult. So I enjoy this time with you guys. Maybe this will grow somewhere. Who knows? But in the meantime, it's a good break from all that other stuff going on. And I love to edit. So, I yes, it's helped me with my watch time, which I was struggling with for a while. Things have gotten a lot better. But I'd have to love it some to do it the way I'm doing it. And I do believe even with a live stream, you have to give something that's worth something for people to come watch or otherwise you're just ripping them off. And I do see that. You need something. It's the same way as when you make a video with something. You're making something that it's, 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 it's a purchase. You're saying, I, I need X amount of your time and you will get such and such out of this video. It's a full-on transaction. And that's not cold. That's the way every interaction in the world works. And uh, 
I have no problems or issues with that. And I do believe my live streams, even these ones where we're just sitting around, have to have some sort of value to it. I don't want to be sitting on a couch and all that, eating chips and all, complaining with the kid. Like, you got enough of that you're going to hear in your own lives. You don't need that here. The same as our nighttime one. I can sit around just saying, like, let's all just uh, uh, do whatever. But I believe bringing guests on and getting to know them better is the best value that I personally can give to you guys for coming to watch. That's where we seem to work our best. So you guys don't leave thinking that it's a waste of time. And I think it comfortable to say <clears throat> we've managed that to a decent point in a short amount of time because we have a lot of return people such as yourselves. I'm proud of that. Okay, we didn't break a record today. Okay. But I see a lot of the same faces come in and sit there and ask the same respectful questions to guests and to each other. And, yeah, you're meeting each other while you're doing it. And somebody new is in and you're, you go and you'll subscribe to them. That's great. What a win-win for everybody. You know, it's not rocket science. I don't want – I used the analogy yesterday. I'll use it today. We don't have a platform big enough to help anybody on to. We are so minuscule, and that's not, I don't care. I'm not in some ways. I'm glad we grew. I'm glad what we do. But you got to think of YouTube as a galaxy. And it's like thinking that, you know, the Earth is the only thing we've explored and nothing else is, exists outside of here. It's completely ludicrous. Right now, as we're all together, there's millions of other groups all together in other parts of YouTube that have no idea we exist. But they're out there. So... Uh, you got to have big platforms. And once you get a big platform, like I said to uh, Rosorian, I said, you know, tomorrow when you guys can be big and I'll cheer you on. And he said, I'll bring you with me. That's nice. And this is not cold. This is the honest God truth. You don't have to because you, uh, you don't owe me anything. It's nice to think about. It. It's the same as musicians. You know, they always say, oh, if I make a big man, I'll never forget you. And we're going to get, but you can't. It sounds nice. You can't. <laughs> you know, you might be able to help somebody out along the way, and that's great. But, I mean, we got to be realistic here. You know, so have fun with what we're doing is the main message of all this. Enjoy each other's time. Be nice, be good to each other. Don't try to bring each other down. Don't try to have, find ways to work together, collabing and all kinds of stuff like that. Make this the best part of an otherwise hard reality for most. And I mean, we're not all struggling living on the streets. But life's just hard in general. It's, it's this, to me, is the escape. I'm sitting with you guys. All my other stuff that i got to do is on break right now. But I will have to get back to it eventually. But this has been a nice, refreshing time just to spend with you guys. Not promising you as the world. Can't do much for you except <laughs> um, just hang with you. Give you guys a talk to each other. You get to meet some new people while you're here. That's the best thing that could happen. You know, sorry guys about that. If it sounded a little preachy, I apologize. I've had a lot the last couple of days in trying to sort it out and where we want to be on YouTube and what we want to do. And oh, welcome. Uh... Oh, thank you, Curry. Thank you so much. That that's how I roll. Good to have you here, Vanessa. Good to see you dropping by. Well, thank you. You know, it's just, I don't know. It, it, you have to watch in here because the small channels were almost like prone to people that are almost broke buying like the Wealthy Barber book at 2.30 in the morning on an info channel. And things can help you. There are channels, you know, you get to meet more people and you get to grow, especially if you're under 1,000. It's it's good to have that because Let's face it, you got to get over a grand. People don't want to say, I want to sub for sub, but I don't want to do all this stuff. No, you do. Because you want to get over 1K and you want to get 4,000 hours because then YouTube will push you more. That's normal. And I've used some of those ones, but I use it in conjunction. It's a tool. It's not a Bible. And I've one thing that's really worked for me was going to channels. Like, I'm just going to pick one of the lists here randomly. Uh, I'll take uh, Vanessa Kitty. Okay, I go on her channel. She's a good follower. You know, I'm getting her back and forth. We talk about each other's videos, and I know she, her quality is good. So if her quality is good, chances are she has a lot of good followers. Not, not trillions, but some good ones. 
So then go back three, four months and look at one of the videos before all the pandemonium started with the uh, ad apocalypse. Look at the supporters. Is there anybody that catches your eye in there that you think might like your stuff? And, and first and foremost, you might like theirs. And that makes such a difference. And I've still got people. Eric the Red, uh, RC guy, is one of those guys today that still comes by. And he didn't want to really get into it at first because he's like, you know, I don't want to sub for sub. But I didn't say I just told him about myself. And now the guy, when he gives me a compliment, means more to me than a lot of other ones. Just for the simple reason is I know he's always holding me to a higher standard. He's not an asshole. He said, I built a small community. I'm happy with them. You know, I went to that game and I want to try and be on, you know, not. And it took me a while to convince him. He came back and watched my stuff, but, you know, probably with one eye open. And now we're really good. And I got to meet other guys out of there that are coming to watch our videos now because they see him coming. That's what's really cool. Yes, Hale and Ian, I, I think we had unreal expectations of YouTube because of the success of the pod. Yeah, but it's going to come for you guys. You know, you guys do have a great product, and you're building it like right now my numbers aren't going up as high as they were two months ago. That's okay because they're growing up naturally. And I will pat myself on the back, and I've had Rick from Corn Life Network. I hope you don't mind me mentioning this. And some other ones say that, you know, it, like by sitting in and getting to meet people and see especially one person for an hour and a half talk about their backstories, that they're connecting more of them, and they're also having more true subs that are staying with them when it's all done. But they're not as big in numbers as you'll get on some other channels. And, I, you know, I... I probably won't have, maybe we will have numbers like that. I would like to, but I need to do it in my own way. Because it's very hard to go up and talk for something when you and you feel dirty when it's done. And not that the, not that the people are bad or anything. It's just, it's a confusing feeling because you like what's doing and everybody's got to grow and there's a place for that. My uh, Patsy, my numbers have stalled, but I am comfortable with letting the natural process kick in. Exactly. Oh, uh, take care, Wicked Fabs. Thank you so much for coming by. Always a pleasure. Oh, better late than never. Uh, thanks. I'm glad we got to clear up everything this morning, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sorry, I misunderstood what you were saying. And I understand, too. It is a, with YouTube as a fickle pony. Love to have you on. Like I say, sometimes if you are interested, just catch us on Twitter. Links are usually in the, all of the descriptions. No, I think uh, you'd be a real interesting guest. Xenia, especially, she's all you know. She's looking. We want to have more women on as well, too. You know, that's very that is very important to us for demographics. It's business sense, and it's good rounded. I want something for everybody. And you know, you bring a, a good perspective. You have a great channel. You know, I got a, got a comment. I, I watched your video and forgot to about uh, cutting your son's hair. I think it was Ball Caps that said you're fasted, and I agree with them. <laughs> Patricia Sparkles, welcome. Good to have you. You get mod as well because we're all on the same platform. <laughs> Oh, my God, Kirby. I love that. If you guys haven't seen that, Pusha Studios. I don't plan on being a big YouTuber. My goal was to gain 1,000 fans, not subscribers. That is unreal. I love that. That is so cool. Xenia goes back to takes snapshots of these and then puts them on Twitter. I'm definitely telling her about this one. Uh, Blackster EDM, what was the free video maker software you recommended the other day? Um, DaVinci Resolve has a, has a lot of the power that Premiere does. There's a thousand dollar version, which of course has a bit more, but I mean, there is a lot in it for free. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, Tony, you got to go soon. Sorry, I just seen it now. Thank you so much for coming. I apologize. I'm back. Uh, you know, so good to have you here. You guys, I appreciate all you guys so much. Um, uh, Hales and Heathens, we don't mind it at all, but we have to do find our comfort and refocus. We are really enjoying it. We don't 
mind the fun. Yes, exactly. Fun and work, that's a fun thing to mix. <clears throat> and, you know, things do grow. And I think when you enjoy what you're doing, you have such a chance to grow. No, it doesn't mean you're going to hit a million subs, but at least grow properly, you know, and you never know. The sky's the limit. There's no there's no guarantees to make it here, but there's also no uh, hexes against somebody for doing it either. That's how I roll. In real life, we go to a party with a group of people. Some are strangers, some are associates, and some are friends. We have different interactions with each group. We hang mostly with our friends, same on YouTube. How true is that? I love it. Well put. Well put. Well, you guys are you guys are so so amazing. Oh, you're packing to head home. Oh, that's so nice of you to at least tune in to listen. Yeah, this is the impromptu one I just started the other day. I was just kind of curious what the mornings were like. <laughs> After the kids are going to school, I'm trying now to start editing more, and I'm getting a lot of things ahead now that the live stream is starting to take on its own life a bit. So this is kind of a good breakup between us. So Xenia, she's working on uh, schedules, and she's also got a – we did a christening that she's finishing out photos for. Uh, Kirby's uh, Raven Ray books. I call them befrienders. That's good. <laughs> Custom carts. Welcome. 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 I thought I made you a moderator already. Oh my God. I there. There's a surprise to see in here. Welcome, CJ Bijo. Sorry, I just seen you now. Tony, there's some amazing YouTubers in this chat this morning afternoon. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I couldn't be luckier. I appreciate you all so much. You guys bring so much to the table. You definitely know how to make a guy feel really good. I can tell you that. And Xenia, too. I mean, we're really touched by it. To have a good following. You know, there's only been a couple of weeks we've been doing this. I, I Oh, uh, uh, Beauty, I can't stay. I have to get ready. Just Thank you so much, Beauty. Uh, I, I'm so glad you came, and uh, maybe we'll see you tonight. Oh, Raven, you got to take off too. You take care of yourself. I'm so bad at this without Xenia. <laughs> uh, see, I have to uh, take care, Niels. Thank you so much for dropping by, and looking forward to doing the uh, podcast with you. That's and the stream. That's gonna be so cool. Where in Canada am I? I'm in Montreal. Uh, Dexter's running. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can hope to be back later. Push the studios. Yep, we're gonna be on 8 p.m. tonight. I'll put out the promo video in a little bit with our guest for tonight. Thank you guys for coming. Oh, welcome back, Vanessa. So great to have you. Phone calls always have to come first. That's understandable. Larry Johnson with the 70s porn name. Welcome. You're a moderator. Oh my God! Anyone wants to to add me on Twitter? Yep, and I think you already have us, Raven, because I don't. I Xenia does Twitter, and now I sound like an old man. The, the wife looks after that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. If you can, uh, I thought I gave Larry one status. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Oh, you're not a wall model trains. Excellent. Very cool. You know, guys, like, I don't know, because I don't want to ask this. I don't want to push, but, like, there's a great example of mall train. I do have some train videos. You've seen them before. If you guys in your groups, like, you have more specialty channels, if you guys can bring more people in, I don't want to sound like we're doing, like, a run, but I guess I'm going to have to start saying it a bit more just for the health of the channel. I hope you guys can, uh, like, kind of spread the word a little bit, like, tweet it out or, like, tell some of your friends and your channels. That there is like you know especially the live stream at eight and like you know it's a good place for the meet people learn about other youtubers maybe connect because i like to grow that gray area because i always find it so rewarding when i see you guys typing you know and it's like i say if somebody's into uh you know larry johnson will find somebody uh that builds cars even though he doesn't do it he likes it or vice versa 
I love that gray area. To me, that's very, very healthy growth. Because even for a specialty channel, I'm, in my opinion, you want about probably a 60-40 ratio of diehards to gray areas. It keeps things fresh, you know, and not so um, locked in. Good. Okay, great. That's right. I thought so as soon as I see you. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> You're welcome for the wrench, Larry. <laughs> it's way easier for me to get on this time. than on. Yeah, I, exactly. That's kind of why I, I'm doing this a little bit. I just come on for a short time in the morning. You guys, anybody that's on, because I love talking to all of you. Oh, and... Um, I love talking to all of you and uh, just hanging out and also the ones who can't make it to our stream at night. It's a great way just to kind of catch up because uh, we took 8 o'clock spot was kind of because other ones were taken and I didn't want to ever get into like any turf wars or any craziness. So, And, and it's worked out for the most part. I just wish sometimes we had one a bit more. But then again, it would be harder to do it earlier too because we got the kids coming home from school and everything else as well. So, and Thomas Schmidt, welcome. Good to see you. Always good to have you. Excellent. Where are you going? Where are you going fishing today? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, I appreciate it. I'm gonna have to go pretty soon. Uh, real life calls but yeah if anybody can come in for minutes and I, and I do love that i should be saying that right at the beginning that's where i like it's because usually xenia says that we're on the other one so i never think of it the same as looking at the live stream i check it glancing where she's like an eagle eyes on it Let's see here you know it's just fun it's just this is kind of like where there's not guests or anything just kind of chat. maybe once in a while we'll get going and start bringing on uh, you know somebody in the channel that wants to come on just for a few minutes and talk but we already do like a lot of interview stuff so i'm not sure lake st Clair. oh that sounds nice Oh, you're in your own country. Cool. Love that area. Very nice. I love like I, I love North I love traveling through Europe and I also love North America. I love Canada. I'm a strong Federalist. I've tried to bring all my three children up as strong Federalists because of the issues that happened here in Quebec at the time. It's it's extremely important to me. Because as Ang Anglos here in Quebec, we don't have the most rights, which is kind of surprising for uh, this day and age in the free world, especially a country like Canada. But here nor there, I want my kids to be, I've always wanted my kids to be strong federalists. And I see with my oldest, it seems to be something that's important to him. And I hope to all of them. And like Xenia, too. I mean, like Xenia got her citizenship last year. And she is a very strong Federalist. I know Thomas Schmidt. We just seen it this morning because I know he wanted to keep us a surprise. That was unbelievable. We are so touched by that. That was, If you guys, after if you haven't seen a, uh, Doodles by Doug, you got to check out his, uh, he did a live stream and he did a duel of us <laughs> from when we had the uh, monkey and the pillow the other night in our place and mixed our features into it. It was amazing. So amazing. Kirby, thank you so much. You take care. Hey, you're another guy because you're in the circle. If you can start bringing some of your friends from your fishing uh, channels and stuff like that, that too, that would be really great. You guys all have interesting friends. If you can bring three or four and everybody's getting to meet them slowly and they, they you know, great. It's great for all. Everybody wins. <laughs> Raven, you're so funny. <laughs> I 
Yes, it, it is. And I mean, really, the younger generation is a lot better at it. It's I, like I'm 44 and I'm the, like one of the last generations of those dinosaurs that are going to die off. So things will get better here. Ever since the advent of the Internet, things have changed a lot. It's it's a bunch of old out of touch. But I mean, that's politics in general. There's money in politics. It's a lot of other touchers. You know, it's too bad, but things will work its way out. Thanks so much for coming, eh, Kirby? You guys are good. I appreciate all of you. It's so much fun hanging with you guys. Like I say, it gives a break between the editing stuff and all that and the planning. And because the live stream is a lot of work, a lot more than we ever thought it was going to be because of the guests. Uh, and it wasn't guests, it'd be so much easier. You know, literally, I can turn this on and do this in five minutes but the guest thing it makes a whole new level you know you can watching videos and reading up on them like the other night we had best friend and threat her and i go on like lunatics together but xenia still wanted to well, and we too both wanted to get to know her a bit better and um xenia researched and found out she had a blog and stuff like that you know it's a lot of work very fisher like women you gotta treat them <laughs> Dinner and the fine stuff before you come, they come out. <laughs> oh, fish get treated to dinner all right, but in a completely different fashion, usually with lemon. Oh, my God, almighty. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Yeah, guys, we'll probably give it another, I don't know, seven minutes or so. We'll probably end it around, uh, end it around quarter after. Uh, when we get because the kids will be home at three and try and get a bunch of stuff done before they come home. That's the part of the balance too that's coming back is I'm finally getting to spend more time with our kids again because it's hard. We work on this stuff a day, and then not by their fault or anything at home. But I mean, I'm a creator. It's in the afternoon. We used to really be into that a lot, trying to. Have, you know, help, and we were being helped by attendance, whatever you want to call it. And you know, that go three to five, sometimes five thirty, and then we got to get ready after seven, get things ready for the live stream at eight. I mean, there's no time with our kids, and that was really bothering us a lot. So, you know, you just got to pick what's important. And once again, just because we're uh, at thirteen, whatever it is. I still will support you guys. Anybody new in here, I don't think there's at the moment, but anybody that's new, I I don't care if they have 20. I found some really great channels, and I just have to scratch my head and wonder why they're at 20. And some of them for a while. It's hard to believe. Oh, excellent, Aaron. Thank you so much. I'll definitely check it out. Welcome. Good to have you. Oh, and Jennifer Rose, welcome. Good to have you, too. So nice to see you guys. We're just all hanging out for a few minutes. I'm going to be off in uh, uh, probably about five minutes. Just came on for the one of those, as we call it, winging it. <laughs> I just wanted a thumbnail up. I was trying to think of something fast. You know, sort of the thumbnails, I try to categorize them. So there's categories <clears throat> that even, like, if you know our channel, some as soon as it pops up, you can tell right away if it's a live stream cinematic and now for this uh, series as well. And there's my phone again. <laughs> oh, welcome, Leah. Good to have you. Nice to see you again. How's everything with you today? I think we're getting the rush hour crowd, guys. Just pardon me for a second. I'm going to uh, just stop the camera and mute it for a second. I'll be right back. Oh, Michael, welcome. Good to see you.
Sorry about that. What did I miss? Oh, BR Entertainment, welcome. Good to have you here. Alien 6467. Oh, <laughs> well, good to have you here. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Um, yes, X-ray. Uh, the uh, uh, Doug's doodle was absolutely phenomenal. And it's funny because Patsy's here again, and I keep putting the two of them together. I mean, that's what uh, great things in one week. To me, that's like winning the Emmy Awards. <laughs> I am so honored. And we got the high-res version. Uh, Doug graciously sent us this morning. We're printing it out. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to make it to uh, your uncle because I'd like to do it like 11 by 17. But we're definitely printing it out for now, and then I'll get up hopefully in the next day or two. I want it bigger. We were so honored by that. It, uh, you know... Stuff like that, you know, and then Pat the other day puts this in her video where she's, and on top of it, a video about balance, and that meant so much, like a, a real good message into it at the same time. You guys are so awesome. We, You guys mean so much to us. Thank you. Excellent, guys. That's great to see you guys growing like that. Jennifer Rose needs one more friend. So if anybody out there hasn't joined Jennifer Rose yet, definitely go check her out. How you doing, Michael uh, Furberger? I love your name. I love it. Love, love, love it. Sorry, I'm just closing up some windows here at the same time because I got them plastered everywhere. We did a new video, by the way, yesterday. I put up last night another one in that uh, 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 Living Photo series. This one was from Ljubljana, uh, Slovenia, and that's one of the pictures. The big one behind me is in it. That's the final one. So if you haven't checked that out, too, if you can, I'd love for you to see it. The Susie channel, the girl who touches the cakes is here. I'm sure all of you guys know Susie by now. Familiar with her work. She makes everybody hungry. Susie has done one of the funniest videos of all time, which we're going to tease her with till the end of time about, was with the uh, hostess snowballs where she gets up and personal with touching them. And <laughs> by no fault of her own, <laughs> by no fault of her own, but it was... Probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I love it. I'll never forget the night I came across it. Uh, there's not much that's cracked me up more than that. There you go, folks. Oh, we missed the best part. And this is the most famous shot of all. This is the money shot, folks. That's right. So I like to think we had a little bit in helping Susie with her fame <laughs> by acknowledging that video. We play it almost what, three quarters, I think, of our live streams at night of it. <laughs> well, that's all I ask for, Susie. I don't ask for money. I just ask for joy. <laughs> There, there, you have to go over and watch it the next day. That it's it's virtual enjoyment. So, you know, you're not blushing anymore. You're used to it. You're just saying that because bottle caps is not around. We're trying to hook her and bottle caps up, and I think, well, we're not really having to help a whole pile. It looks like, <laughs> even though her husband is husband's going to call off the internet, as she said. <laughs> It's 
so funny. Oh my god almighty. You guys are so amazing. You know, yesterday is our day off and we really make a big effort of it to uh, try to keep Sunday. We did it one time to uh, for the guests because it was just easier for them. And that's fine. Like, no hard feelings. It was our pleasure. But uh, Xavier was watching this morning, the video this morning with Doodle White Dunn. Something was like saying, you know, it's too bad they weren't here. Or something. She was telling me, as usual. I kind of half listen. And uh, she was touched, and I was really touched to hear people saying, like, you know, oh, they don't go on Sunday. And he said he was in the morning. He was going to spend it with his kids. And that's their family day, and they really work hard through the week with their job plus the live streams, and it's nice to see them doing that. Like, you guys show more compassion than sometimes people you have directly in your life to say something like that. I mean, how you have no idea how these things make us feel so good. You know, it um, it's nice to have people in your corner like that. It gives you confidence. You know, that's <laughs> jeez, Ray Brooks, <laughs> Susie and Bottle Caps has a ring to it because you can pop it open when it fills up marshmallows. <laughs> I never thought of it that way before. <laughs> he looks like the girls on YouTube. <laughs> and be careful with bottle caps, X Ray X said exactly. There, there's there's very good advice. <laughs> Bottle caps is crazy. And, you know, even him, like, sometimes he's had trouble in the other show. And they can tell you, I love him. He always remind me of one of the old guys from the Muppets up on the balcony. You know, he just has that personality. It's good you guys are finding each other like this. It's really cool. It's nice to see it growing like this. And not to toot our own horn, but I've had some people say that they've had good luck uh, with this channel when they meet people. Because it is. It's a bonding process. Because people are listening to the ones talk, so they're getting to know the guests more, which I really think helps them uh, connect. And for you guys spending that time there and listening, you, you get that. It's like going to a... It's like going to a show, and you're watching the show on stage, and you're liking what they're doing. You're connect, But you can still talk to the guy sitting... You know, the people sitting beside you and that. And past business cards and stuff like that. It's it's the same here. Yes, yes, that's that's how I roll. Exactly, exactly. You can't. Can you picture that with him, Susie Channel? He's harmless and he's he is funny. I find him hilarious. Like I get such a kick out of him. And and you know what? Like many of you guys, he's honest. The that's a great thing to see around here. So I do feel you guys that regular here are very honest people. I like that a lot. Susie the Snack Queen, that's right. That's why it's hard to watch her channel. That's why I'm thinking about us. Xenia bakes a lot here. Uh, mostly we don't usually, I, I mean, I love store-bought stuff. Don't get me wrong. I dearly do. I have a real issue with that. Left to my own devices, that'd be a thousand pounds. <laughs> but Xenia bakes a lot. And it's nice. I, I I mean, I know some people look at our lives and say, you know, and, and Xenia is very, very traditional. Even though, like, I mean, she's a very smart girl. She has a master's in psychology, speaks three languages. She's no slouch. But she's also got a very sweet side to her. And she help bring something to my life that I was missing in my previous marriage. I really, uh, it was that genuine, genuine sweetness to it all. Like, I don't know if I even mentioned it before, but when I worked in Saskatchewan, like we moved out there. That's when we were finally had our, you know, our own place, not running between two countries and stuff. And I had to go to work. Like I was just had started out there a month ago, got a place and, um, uh, you know, it was a big adjustment for her, right in the middle of Saskatchewan. It was late fall. You know, getting used to stuff like Thanksgiving and that she had never done it. 
Halloween because it's also not celebrating art. They're starting to now a little, little bit, but not going door to door and all that stuff. <clears throat> I was working. She had to kind of wing it on her own. And uh, she's like she said with the turkey the first time was kind of like uh, it was kind of like a Mr. Bean episode. You know, <laughs> she's sitting there with us. And I, of course, Andrew got to buy this huge turkey. And um, she had to figure it out on her own while I was working. Because I worked sometimes there. In the oil field, you can work 16 hours a day easily. You know, that's not uncommon, especially truck drivers out there. You're paid well for it. You're considered skilled labor and actually sought-after labor. But it's not an easy job at any time. And, uh, yeah, she, she gets it done. <laughs> Side note for turkey, my father came up with this idea years ago. Anybody making turkey, you know, you put your roaster pan and then you put your grill and then your turkey on top. Well, my dad came up with this idea instead of putting the grill to actually buy a rack of beef ribs, put the beef ribs in the fit the pan, sit the turkey directly on top of it, and then sit there and uh, like just baste it for you know how many hours, like on slow cook. And I kid you not, the ribs take precedence over the over the turkey by the time it's done because they slow cook the whole time and they're just like fall off the bone. Unbelievable. And I love beef ribs way more than pork ribs. So I know they're expensive as hell, but yeah, that's why he only does it like once, twice a year. But it's really good. Uh, yeah, I'm lucky. Definitely. You know? I'm at a point in my life too, I think, you know, and this sounds cocky. I mean, she's lucky too. We're good to each other and we've, uh, we're not perfect, but it's a good fit. And we both gave a lot to each other. And so. No. Yeah, Bradford backwards. Yeah, I was and I was you were one of the guys I was thinking of. I'm glad you heard that about the turkey. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Like literally like a rack of beef ribs that just fit the pan, flop the turkey right on top of it, stuffed, and just start basing the hell out of that thing on a low heat for hours. I guarantee you they're they're the ribs are insane. <laughs> You know, because you got that constant pressure. I'm going to have to tell them, I'm trying to get, uh, we've been in talks with them. There. Not talks with them, it sound like it's like we're making a money deal or anything. But uh, AB Grilling might be on soon. And uh, definitely we'll talk to him about that. Uh, you take care of yourself, Raven. You are such a sweetheart. We love you lots. Take care, and uh, hopefully we'll see you tonight. If not, we'll see you again tomorrow or the next time you're on. You take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> you're so sweet. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you ever want to try it, Brever, it's really cool. It is really great. Um, I always like that kind of twist on things. My father, you know, where you grew up and where I grew up, and where Xenia's family grew up, I've been to all these places. And rural life is rural life is rural life. Wherever you go, there's so many more similarities than there are differences. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a cool thing to see in all of that. You know? And that's why I respect that. I, I There's a bond there. Even though I lived in the city for, like, since I was 17, I spent more years in urban areas than I did in rural because that's the way things worked out. I think it gave me balance. And that's what I've always appreciated by it. And I think an understanding, like even when I worked for the music company and worked myself up higher, I was also always close to the guys in the warehouse and everything. <clears throat> Not because I just needed stuff from them from time to time, but I mean, I always, I always wanted my kids to kind of grow up that way too, that they don't go into a barn and say, ooh, it smells like poopy. Or to go into a board office and like put on the rubber boots and dance on the table. It, 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 it's good to be around in person and all of it. There's a time and place for everything, and common sense can play a big part in a person's life. And I think it also helps you connect with people better. It makes you a better business manager, it makes you a better work, uh, employee, it makes you a better boss, whatever you do. The more you can relate to other people. Welcome, Musky Hans. One of our past amazing guests. So good to have you here. He was a great show. We had a great time with him, too. That was fun. 
that was i think that was the show was really important because we finally were really validating what we wanted to do here that's why his show will always be one of our those memorable moments ones for that Irvin, the paid tourist, good to see you. Another one of our favorites. Uh, where are you at? Are you on the road today, uh, Irvin? Uh, Bradford backwards. I've been everywhere. Would never want to change. That's right. One hundred percent, my friend. One hundred percent. And, you know, it doesn't matter where you are. Everybody has a lot to bring to the table. And that's what you learn from traveling and being so many places. That's really cool, man. VR Entertainment, welcome back. Oh, welcome, uh, the Irish Homestead family. Good to see you here. Still, I, I think you and Xenia have been talking a bit, I believe, eh, about trying to set up a date to get on the, our stream. I, I, I went to Ireland two years ago. I did Ireland, Scotland, Central UK, the Isle of Man, and then came back to Dublin for a couple of days. I rented a car and spent two days driving all over Ireland, uh, slept in a car, which I love doing. I love doing that. It was just me. Little, uh, first time ever driving on the left side of the road. It was phenomenal. It's amazing after 20 minutes. I was terrified to do it. Usually I'm not. And I go to a lot of countries where there's no English or nothing. So this time when I did this tour, it was the most English I've ever done in one travel. And I was more terrified just because of driving on the left side of the road. But it went good. So I rented, I, the first day I took a bus to Belfast to see what the roads were like and do Belfast. And then I came back, slept at the airport. And there's a website, guys, sleepinganairports.com, if I remember it right. It's a guide anywhere in the world where to sleep in an airport, where are the best, most comfortable seats, where you have less chance of being kicked out by security, any protocol. And it literally told me for the one in Dublin was a great example to go up on the second floor in the uh, mezzanine to where the McDonald's was. They have the more comfortable seats, but try to get there before 8 o'clock or they're taken. And they were right. All written by people like us. Yes, uh, so have, uh, uh, oh, Jay was in talks with uh, Xenia, yeah, because if it's on Twitter, she does that. I don't go on much, I'll look at a few things, and she takes care of the scheduling and that. So that's perfect because, yeah, we definitely want to have you guys on. I know the time difference sucks, but I just hope we can work it out to get you guys on because you're an amazing channel. Irish roads are tricky, you know, they're a thousand times better than here in Quebec. The roads are a little wider. I love that though. I thought it. What an amazing place for a road trip. One of the best countries in the world I've ever had a road trip was in Ireland. Um, but here, like potholes and stuff like that, I mean, these roads are disgusting. My screen back. My, uh, I'm hooked up to the main TV in the living room as well as my running uh, mirrored screen. And... Uh, Oh, there we go, Aaron. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, why does YouTube do that? Now I lost my chat. Second. But I do have a bookmark. Not your fault. I don't. I meant to open a new screen, and I just got doing something else as per usual. So I just got to bring back my chat. So if you guys are saying anything to me, I can't see it for a second, but I will soon. Restore the chat. Live chat and pop on chat again. There we go. And we're back. <laughs> oh, good. Didn't miss anything. Uh, there. We will definitely be on. Looking forward to it. Yeah, you're heading to France in a few. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So you're taking the ferry across, I assume? I didn't know if you meant like you. I know you said driving, but I didn't know like flying over and then driving, or if you're actually going down through it, taking the ferry across and going. No, no, Aaron, it's all good. You didn't screw anything up. That was me. All I had to do was just right click and throw it. Not a problem. 
No worries, my friend, at all. It's weird, like I said, when Xenia's not here because she usually takes care of the chat, and I still find it. I don't want to miss anything, and I know I'm missing a lot. So, like I said, if there's anything important, please tag me in it. And if I don't see it, write it again. I don't consider that spam. Spam is what's like, do, 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 do. If I miss it, tell me again. That's very cool. That's really cool. I love road trips. Uh, and you see states, traveling to the states would be is more like traveling through Europe because you don't have as big a state, so you do get to see different parts. Of course, in Europe, there's more multicultural as you change between those areas. Uh, Canada's big. Like, with only 10 provinces going the whole way across, nine in the mainland part. So um, Ontario is pretty much a, it's a full day of driving just to go across one province easily. And not a fun drive to that part. I'm not knocking Ontario. There's lots of amazing places there, but that drive from one side to the other is long. It's mostly all two lane highway. And, but what's cool is when you get up and you drive by, you go by Sault Ste. Marie, because then you pass right along Lake Superior, and that's mind-boggling. It's still, every time I pass it, it blows me away. France is a lot of fun. I have only been there once. I spent uh, 24 hours outside with no, uh, with no hotel, just walking the streets of France. That's when I did the backpacking trip. Oh, I'd love to have you someday. And I do think, especially the eastern provinces, we, I was talking to some people from Ireland, and, you know, there is a great connection still. I know every time many people think of North America and Irish is Boston, 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 and that's all great, but I do feel like there's more of the traditional connection. Well, uh, here's what happened. I My uncle, because I know you don't have much time, uh, my uncle passed away. I grew up in a small town. He traveled. He backpacked in Europe in the early 80s. He was in Ireland during then. He got held by gunpoint in Belfast because he went in, tried to go into a bank with his backpack on to take a cash traveler's checks. And they got held down by guards because they thought it was a bomb. And um, I always wanted to travel like him. He had cancer unexpectedly and passed away. Um, of course, you know, my wife's from Latvia and I've done northern countries. They're always on my bucket list. So she convinced me to finally, I just closed my business. I had a sign repair business here, and uh, she convinced me to go and live out my dream. So she got, got me convinced to book my ticket. I flew by myself. I landed in Brussels. <clears throat> I had a train pass for two weeks. cost me 800 bucks Canadian. It was the first time I'd ever traveled backpack style. I mean, I wasn't a backpacker, but literally just a backpack. A pair of jeans on, one of my bags, three T-shirts, a sweatshirt. A bag of Walmart socks for ten dollars, and some of my underwear that if they uh, lost them along the way wouldn't be the end of the world. <laughs> and I went through, and I landed in Brussels, jumped on a train at the airport, went right right away to Luxembourg. That evening, I left on the fastest train in Europe, the one that takes you to Met. Uh, uh, I went to Metz, caught that the fastest one. Went to Paris. I spent 24 hours outside, no hotel, just wandering the streets, had breakfast in the morning by the graveyard where Jim Morrison's buried. Uh, it was a light rain that night, but it was a warm rain. It was in May, I think. That night I got on a plane, fell asleep before I, it even started to move, and woke up when I was in Krakow, Poland. Spent the night there, and then the next day I went to Auschwitz, which was soul-bending. Got back on a train... Got on the train that night, got off the next day in Prague, ended up meeting a guy from Calgary because the Canadian, Canadian team was playing the world championship there. And we met a scalper for tickets. He paid for my ticket because I didn't have any money. I paid him once we were inside. And we got to see Canada win the semifinals against the Czech Republic in the Czech Republic. Back on a train, and I went all the way through. I went through Bratislava, got off for the day. I, 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 slow, I did... I'm trying to think of all of them now because then I went to Budapest. I, for, I forget all the countries. I went all the way to uh, I went all the way to Croatia, basically. And then from Croatia, I came back up in again through Austria because I did Vienna after Budapest. And then I went from Vienna down through Slovenia and everything into Croatia. So on the way back, I went through there up to Salzburg. Got to see where the Sound of Music uh, Park was filmed because my mother's a huge fan of that movie. 
And then I went through Feldkirch, stayed the night. Then I went down into Liechtenstein for the day. Then I went over to Switzerland. And that's when I went down to uh, Grindelwald. And that's when I went to Jungfrau, the video seen last week from the top of the, the highest point in Europe, went by train. And then I did that. And then I had to take a next train the next morning. I came back the other way on that train, came on the other side. And that's when I started making my way back. I went back into Germany, but I'd been there before. And to Frankfurt, caught a train into Brussels, and that's where I spent my last two days. So I did 12 countries in 15 days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. It was, uh, uh, you can't really see. I'm just going to try to do it lightly. Because some people say this before, it's not too nice here right now. But all the, the pictures starting from after the guitar, uh, the camera's in the way. But all those pictures are from each country that I visited on that trip. Yep. Oh, Bradford, you're still here. Great. And I see we had some new ones. Uh, Ray Driver, good to see you again. My trucking buddy. Abacus Incorporated. Abacus Incorporated. Let me just check this out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're now. I, I see your thumbnail bigger. I couldn't see it before. Excellent. That's really cool. Good to have you here. Coast to Coast Drones, such a good channel. There's so many great channels. I just look through the names here, and I just keep thinking that how lucky we are to have channels like you guys. You too. You have a great day. Thank you so much for coming. And, yeah, we're definitely going to get you guys on soon because uh, – I want to definitely have a good chat with you guys. Ireland's got a special place in my heart. So thanks for coming by. So how are you guys all today? I really got to get off soon because I didn't realize the time. <laughs> As usual, I get talking and then don't realize. And we have a live stream tonight at 8 o'clock, guys, with special guests. I'll be releasing the... Uh, the uh, promo video this afternoon. So if Make sure you're connected with us. Make sure bell's on because I'll release usually about 2 o'clock or so. And uh, we got guests booked all this week and I think even part of next week too. But that can change. Yeah, I think I'll give it another like 4 minutes to 12.45. And I'm going to see maybe I'll take Xenia out for a coffee before the kids get home. Just to well, something is gray and rainy, so I really don't feel like going out into it. But sometimes that's the days you got to force yourself to go out. But I'm not complaining because Montreal gets really, really, uh, is, is a very, very humid city. And it's going to be really hot again in the summer. You have a great day, Susie. So good to spend time with you. If you have a chance tonight, definitely drop in. No, I understand that, Ray. And like I said, I appreciate you guys. That's part of the reason why I come on in the morning was to test, see what it looks like in the morning because I was curious and um, to catch people that can't make it to the show just to let you know we're thinking of you. We still, we really do appreciate you guys because we say that a lot in the channel to everybody and I just want to make sure everybody gets that message. <laughs> You're having a hard time there, Susie. <laughs> I will see you tonight, and I will say hello to Xenia. Yes, because yeah, it's eight p.m. Eastern. Love to have you. Like I, I, you've been to our yeah Eastern Standard Time. We're we're the same as uh, well Montreal is the same as New York, Toronto, Atlanta, I believe as well. I'm just trying to pick places further down. Yeah, just do what you can. It's always appreciated. You know. Thank And thank you, Ray. You know, that's what we want is we're just trying to make a respectful show. You know, that's our mission. This is not like a pushing. I don't mind people connecting because they do it right. It's not a free-for-all. It's everybody talking nicely. And, oh, I went and tried your chat. I love seeing stuff like that. I want all you guys to connect with each other. Because only in a couple of weeks, I think we've built our channel. Our numbers aren't gigantic. I mean, you know, we hit maybe, what, 40 sometimes in our chats at night. But I'd rather have 
20 people that are very respectful than 100 that don't care what you're doing and just they're goofing off or pushing a bunch of garbage, you know. It doesn't grow as fast, but it grows. And I think once you really meet people, I compare this to like at night to like going to a show. You get to learn more about the talent that's on stage, but you also get to learn more about the people sitting around you. It's a very relaxed atmosphere. Excellent, Tracy. Always great to have you. I'd love to see you tonight. Like I said, I'm logging off in about a minute because I'm going to try and see if Xenia wants to maybe go for a coffee or something for the kids' home. But I'd love to see you. It's always a pleasure to have you on the sh uh, in the show. Rage 40 is a good number. Yeah, it is. Exactly. I mean, I want manageable, you know. I'm still saying, like, now that you guys are getting to know us a bit more and just to keep things fresh, if you just know, like, three or four people that you're really close with on here, if you could tell them, because I want to gray the areas a bit more and give all the specialty channels more people to mingle with so you guys get to meet more people out of your day-to-day day-to-day <clears throat> group. But, yeah, we, I'm not saying, like, you got to get everybody. I'd love to, you to bring lots of people here. We'll find a way to work it out. But uh, the main thing is if everybody can bring, like, you know, even, like, we'll say five people that means they're picking the ones that they really feel the best about and how they present themselves and how they behave themselves in chats or even if they're not very familiar with chats it's a great way to start uh good cell life hello uh, unfortunately i'm just about out the door on this one i was supposed to be off at noon was the goal i set for myself but you know how things go and uh we're gonna be sending out the promo today around two o'clock so with who's on for tonight so be nice to have you and as i said to you guys i made another video last night from our photo series this time is uh slovenia the final picture this because this picture is one that i took in slovenia so if you get a chance to check that out and please leave a comment so i can check you guys out as well it's uh musky you're back and i'm on my way out <laughs> but maybe you can make it to the live stream tonight that would be great and I was just telling everybody, like, you know, if you can tell, like, you know, we're not looking to fill the place up with 500 people, but if you know it's like three or four of your closer buddies that you think might enjoy the show, uh, it would be uh, great to invite them because everybody can bring, you know, four or five people from each of their groups that's not in the general mix here. It makes it interesting for everybody else. Everybody else gets to meet some new people and maybe support them if they like what they're doing. And uh, everybody wins. But that's another story for another day. I'm just thinking about it, and I thought I'd throw it. I don't want to sound like I'm begging for stuff. I'm We are walking such a fine line not to cross into it. It's not, you know. No, I understand that, Muskie. And like I always said, you know, work comes first, my friend. <laughs> and school comes first, and everything in real life comes first. We're not getting rich off this. You're not going to... Somebody would take a day off to catch a live stream this size or, or any live stream. That and uh, Nope. I understand completely. I appreciate when you drop in when you can and you were such a gracious guest with us and we had a ball with you. And I I do believe the guest thing always creates a bond that's pretty hard to break after that. So no harm done, my friend. Same as us. We've had to back off in some of the stuff we're doing because it was just getting to be too much. It's... Uh, Still got a business, still got a kids, still got all these things. I wish no harm on anybody, but we got to take care of ourselves. Hello, Sophia's passion. I'm sorry. I'm literally, I was supposed to be done at 12, then 1245. I feel so bad because I really appreciate having you guys here, but uh, we have our live stream tonight. So if you can catch that, that would be great. Uh, it'll be on at 8 p.m. Eastern, and the promo video will be coming out in about probably about two hours, two and a half hours. So. And love to have you guys tonight. You guys have a great day. I'm going to try and take my wife for coffee. Cheers. Keep creating. Love you all. Take care. Bye.